Jaramogi Ogingo Dinga University of Science and Technology is a public university situated in Bondo town about 70 kilometers from Kisumu along the busy Bondo Usenge highway. The university was granted charter by His Excellency Honorable Mwai Kibaki on 13th of February 2013, making it the 16th public university in Kenya. Being uh, uh, located right here at the Lake Victoria, very close to this big water system, this freshwater ecosystem provides us with that niche um, that is enabling us to operate as a very distinctive and unique institution in this region. The university is one of the fastest growing institutions of higher learning. The student population has since grown rapidly and is projected to increase by 20% each year for the next five years. Our student population is about 14,000 and the 14,000 students are distributed into um, 8,000, about 8,500 at undergraduates who are in the main campus and about 4,500 who are in our satellite campuses, especially in Kisi and Kisumu campuses. Um, our postgraduate population at master's and at PhD level are about 1,000 students. Jaramogi Ogingo Dinga University is poised to be a premier institution of higher learning, offering academic programs that are market-driven and relevant towards sustainable socio-economic development. What we endeavor to do as a university is that we do stakeholder analysis to be able to be informed about which possible programs we need to undertake that are relevant uh, and responsible to community development. And, and that's why, therefore, we choose to offer specialist programs that are much more on our niche in science and technology. You'll notice that uh, uh, most of our faculties or most of our schools are basically in the science and technology realm um, uh, of, uh, of offer. And, and therefore, um, our, our major emphasis is on how to uh, integrate and interpret government policy of development towards science, innovation and technology. The university operates in three distinctive divisions, namely academic division, research, innovation and outreach division, and planning, administration and finance division, all under the general direction and tutelage of the vice chancellor. Jaramogi Ogingo Dinga University of Science and Technology has committed to growing the already impressive reputation for research excellence to which donor funding and trust has escalated. One of our major financial achievements in the 2015-2016 financial year was the award by the World Bank of a grant to establish the Africa center of excellence in sustainable use of insects for food and feed. This has been uh, the effort of our researchers who we must congratulate and we are expecting the World Bank to give us close to 600 million shillings for the next five years to establish this center. There have been increased number of proposals developed and submitted by both staff and students in the response to calls for proposals. The success of research depends on cooperation and linkage with key stakeholders. It is worth noting that highly supportive internal partnerships in research have already been established. Both staff and students have been actively involved in carrying out research in various disciplines, including embracing a multidisciplinary approach to research. Staff have continued to write proposals which have attracted funding internationally as well as locally. All our programs are market driven. But nonetheless, we have those that we consider for every of the schools that are our flagship programs. For example, in the School of Agriculture, uh, and food sciences, we consider food security as our flagship program. And in fact, this is the program that um, we offer and has been identified as a key program um, in the African Center of Excellence that has been 
recognized by the World Bank in the World Bank uh, project. In the school recently there are uh, a few interesting development, developments that are uh, related to the development or enhancement of food security in this country. We have developed uh, some programs that would contribute greatly to, greatly to capacity building in, in uh, <coughs> the area of food security. These are uh, programs at the master's level, master of science in uh, food security and sustainable development. The university has continued to participate in a number of community outreach activities. Through these activities, the university has spearheaded delivery and transfer of knowledge and appropriate technology to communities for sustainable livelihoods. We have been working with the, the local farmers to promote a variety of sorghum developed in this institution. And farmers have uh, taken it up and are growing it uh, in their local farms. In addition, we are working with the, the local beach communities around the Lake Victoria region to promote cage fish farming, which we are hoping it will be able to be a viable entity to increase their socioeconomic status. We have also been involved in working with the Baringo communities, communities beyond Siaya or Onyanza region. Uh, in, uh, in uh, control and management of diseases, specifically climate sensitive diseases such as malaria and rift valley fever. And uh, lastly, we are also involved in uh, working with healthcare workers within the Lake region to try and re reduce uh, infection status in HIV AIDS. Uh, we are privileged to share with you that um, our students have been very progressive uh, in the sense that we have had students work very closely with the community in various projects and uh, activities. During the 2015-2016 academic year, the university hosted the second edition of Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Memorial Lecture as part of its outreach activities. The university's programs are tailored towards addressing the Vision 2030 through areas of technology, transfer, scientific research, innovation and collaboration with the industry. In the international front, we have had serious collaboration ranging from uh, partnerships with respect to academic advancement, research advan advancement, as well as uh, sustainable urban development agenda. This also um, syncs very well with the sustainable urban development goals in line with the sustainable developmental goals that are uh, set up by the UN system. In addition, the academic programs provide students with relevant industrial competencies, skills, knowledge and integrated understanding required by different fields and related environment as well as those seeking competitive advantage in workplaces and consultancy world. The university remains a powerhouse in co-curricular activities, especially in music, drama and sports, not only in the region but also nationally. The academic division takes care of teaching, uh, examinations, but also student welfare. So this division is also charged with the aspect of uh, taking care of students' welfare services, especially when it comes to sports, accommodation, uh, and the student governance. During the 2017 National Drama Festival, the Drama Club students emerged the overall winners in the feature documentary, Mime and Screen Dance category, where the team scooped awards. The university has mounted a blended e-learning platform to enhance the quality of teaching and learning and also expand access to university education. We are going to leverage on technology to ensure that we expand. We are also going to... Uh, to be guided by the, the Ministry of Education and be guided by the Commission of University uh, Education uh, uh, Regulations. The University has successfully undertaken ISO 9001-2008 recertification. 
As an oasis of knowledge, the university has ensured a pool of qualified and committed academic and non-academic staff to oversee the implementation of the university programs. In addition, investments in modern facilities and infrastructure for the university's growth and development have continued in earnest over the years. Uh, we want to expand cautiously uh, because we also have to manage our growth. And at this particular moment, we want to focus in investing in infrastructure, in investing in, uh, uh, in, in strengthening whatever structures that are in place. To keep pace with international best practices and development of staff, the university has undertaken short and long-term training programs for all cadres of staff. We have managed to recruit and retain a very highly competent uh, members of staff, both academic and administrative staff, and currently, as we are celebrating this occasion, we have got a staffing component of about 486 members of staff, around 150 academic staff, comprising of uh, highly motivated lecturers and professors, and also about 336 administrative staff. Well, I would encourage any student looking for quality education to come join me at Jaramogi Ogenga Odinga University of Science and Technology. Indeed, it is an oasis of knowledge. We want to welcome everyone uh, within uh, the locality of the university and beyond to join us in celebrating yet another milestone uh, in the calendar and in the life and in the history of Joost. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you to Yaramogogunga University of Science and Technology fourth graduation ceremony that will be held here at the main campus on the 26th of May 2017.